Yeah, guys, we're going to look at the Neo stock. I've done a live video. I don't know what happened to it. If you can hear the sound, seems to be seems to be an issue when I do a live video. It goes all wonky. Anyway, guys, we're looking at Neo stock. It's trading's live. I mean, this is not a live video, but trading is open, and we're looking at it now. It's the 15th November 2024, coming up to 4.14 in the UK. It's quite volatile, guys, in the O stock. Quite volatile. As I said, in the live video, I don't know if you listen to it, if you can hear it. But just to run over some key points, if I can remember is that I think it's got a long-term future. Neo stock's got a long-term future. I don't think we're going to see results like massive sales. I mean, sales are increasing year on year, 35% currently. But obviously it's going to take time to, you know, for, for sales to increase like a lot more. You've got the Firefly coming out in December. November, you've got the revenues coming out. I think, obviously, they're going to increase. Insurance registrations, week, you know, if you look at them weekly, monthly, obviously, they're going to be up and down. And lease cars, you know, lease buyers, lease companies buy Neo cars and rental companies. They're not, obviously, they're not going to uh, insure individual cars. Like, you know, they're going to be on a block insurance. So you can't really go by those figures, those numbers. And then you've got um, the trade, you know, tariffs. I don't think they're going to impose. If they impose tariffs, I don't think they're going to be high. Because ultimately, they're going to need China on board. They're going to need to do business with China. They're going to need Chinese EVs. Tesla can't meet and other manufacturers can't meet the demand, the growing demand in the future. And also the costs, production costs, salaries, etc. They <clears throat> cheaper in China to produce. So they're going to either buy out Chinese companies or merge with them. Also, technology wise, Neo, you know, they've got their own tech, semiconductors, etc. And that's going to be a major player in the future for Neo stock, you know, for the Neo company licensing and selling semiconductors. It's going to be all good in the future, in my opinion, not financial advice. And I think I say in this video is financial advice, but I think it's going to be all good for the Neo stock moving forward. I don't think we're going to see. I mean, it's still a possibility in November and December we could see spikes going above $8 for NEO stock. It's still a possibility. But obviously NEO's been bashed down quite hard, you know, since, well, since around five, five, five fifty, five dollars fifty. It's got bashed down now. And it's all, all because of uncertainty. Also, it's a Friday. You know, Friday generally stocks on the whole, do, on the whole, mostly, you know, do like fall, do give way somewhat. And we're coming up to the holidays, the end of the year. So that's going to play, play a part, you know. But moving forward, you know, 2025, I think that you're going to see some, well, look, the, Ch look Ch the Chinese, right, they could, They've got the backing, right? They've got the money. They could buy this stock. They could buy Neo stock. See the price shoot up. Also, some big players in the US, you know, big players in the US, they, they realise they're just waiting. Obviously, they've got some concerns, but they're just waiting to load up on Neo stock. And they know that the future, really, in manufacturing is, you know, from China. So they're just waiting to load up Big time, big, big, big time on Neo stock, guys, in my opinion, not financial advice. 
that's why I, I got a sense of that you know looking at the price action given that it's a spiky stock spiky price action I've got a sense that it can just spike suddenly not necessarily today coming towards the end of you know trading soon the weekend but I would rather be in it than out of it moving into next week you know so we're going to see how it goes ultimately on the neo stock moving forward and um see how it pans out at the end towards the end of the year with a firefly coming out in december revenues coming out in november we're going to see how it pans out towards the end of this year and also moving into 2025 we're going to see how you know how the progression is with the expansion the you know, company expanding sales increasing as i said 35 percent year on year and it's going to increase next year as well uh big time i think with a firefly coming out and um other models as well coming out updated models etc and expanding into other countries i don't think in the short term Neo stock necessarily needs the US market. Like, it's not in a rush to go there. I think it's all speculation that they're kind of in a rush, but I still I think they're still expanding in China. And also, as I said, like some key players, including Tesla, could merge with Neo, you know, Neo company. And yeah, everything's moving ahead. But obviously, it seems like slow progression or backward progression if you look at the stock price. But sometimes the stock price doesn't always paint a true picture of what's going on with a company. This is a lot of fear selling, etc. That's why the price is dropping, in my opinion, not financial advice. But I think it's not going to stay this way. As I said, in 2024, before the end of 2024, still think it's still possible i'm not going to call it but i still think it's possible for a spike north of neo stock um as i said revenue figures are coming out in november and then you've got the firefly model launching more or less in december 20th i think it's december i should imagine there'll be a lot of orders for that firefly because it's a compact compact car and it's a lot cheaper. The price is a lot cheaper. I think there'll be huge uh, orders for that. And, then, and into the future, parts. Parts. You can imagine with all these models they're bringing out. And updated models. They're setting themselves up to Neo, you know, to be um, basically a long-term, you know, manufacturer. And the more they expand, you can imagine how, many, how much money they're going to make in the parts, selling parts, you know body panels uh you know like um interior etc all, all, all the kind of switches and whatnot <clears throat> you know in the future you can make a lot of money with parts so i think you've got to be long term if you're an investor of neo stock you've got to have that long term outlook you can't think oh stock's going down you know i bought it six dollars look at it now look you know it's like 160 down and 160 one dollar 60 down what's going to happen is it going to go look neo stock has got to find its bottom again possibly you know it's got to find that kind of it's an oxymoron but it's got to find a sweet spot of that bottom you know stocks are stock at the end of the day price action is it you know doesn't think like a trader or investor it is what it is inanimate it's going to do what it's going to do so if it hits four dollars let's say hypothetically and then bounces and starts gradually increasing well that's what's going to happen then I'm not saying that is going to happen but Whatever the bottom is, that's going to be the bottom because ultimately the stock has got to go up. If it goes up gradually or if it spikes up here and there and comes back down a bit and then spikes up higher and so on, if it moves like that, it's got to eventually 
you know, the more revenues they gain and lower debts and increase revenues, sell more and more and more, the more the company advances, then eventually the stock price has got to go up. And also when the big players, you know, jump on board, when they know that, you know, because you, you can't bet against China, guys. You cannot bet against China manufacturing. So this is it for long term, if you're a long term holder. Um, as I say, it's not, it's not financial advice. Do what you want to do. But if you're holding, you're holding. If you're buying more, you buy more. Because, uh, you know, future, when you see the stock, if you see the stock at a lot higher price, you'll be thinking back, oh yeah, stock went down again, 442 as it is now, roughly. And, you know, I didn't buy, I didn't buy. I could have bought, I could have bought. You could be saying that, for instance, you know. So I think there's a lot of uncertainty, obviously, with Neo, Neo stock, with a recent post-election talking about tariffs etc but don't forget tesla get a good deal in china guys they only pay what is it seven eight percent you know tariff and um they've got a good deal you know overall on all, all, all sorts of uh good good deals so i can't see the u.s starting trouble with tariffs etc because in the long term they're going to need china so i don't know how that fits into the narrative imposing tariffs to start a trade war and all this business so i don't really fear that aspect because although that could be a possibility in the short term i don't think it's going to happen i don't it, it, look if there's tariffs i don't think they will be high and even if they are i don't think they can remain so long term if you're looking for long term in my opinion again not financial advice I think you've got I think you've got to kind of like pan it out, you know. Because a lot I've seen a lot of stocks fall. And and at the end of the day, Neo stock really is only trading within the low range it was prior to going seven seventy. So I don't think it's um nothing bad has happened. It's only like it rose to seven seventy, come down somewhat. And you had the election and then you had talk about the registration insurance registration numbers and i think that was a lot of bad they were pumping out bad you know press to put more short pressure on the stock bash down chinese um companies on the whole but i think that's going to reverse it might take time to change but I think in the future, I think that it's going to change. It's a natural progression. As I said, you can't bet against China. And um, all it is really is that costs in America, production costs, raw materials, you know, and getting raw materials, they're, they're high. And salaries are high. And eventually these big players... They know already, but they're going to be buying stocks like this because this is the future. Neo and companies like Neo are the future. They're still developing countries and emerging markets. And I think that if you bet against these stocks, Neo like type stocks and Neo, you will lose. I think, in my opinion not financial advice again so that's why you got to have a long-term view you have a long-term viewpoint about <clears throat> stocks like neo and neo stock if you're looking for profits like yeah if you're looking for long-term profits let's put it this way if neo stock went up before the end of 2024 to say you know nine dollars ten dollars even then if you sold out and the old stock came down to six dollars and then shot up again in 2025 to 15 dollars plus maybe 2025 dollars you'd be kicking yourself that you sold out just for a little kind of like what you know one double because there's in a way there's easier stocks to get a double than neo stock that's why i'm not looking for a double with neo stock i'm looking for a lot more probably at least x10 
I wanted to double, I could have jumped on loads of stocks I've given on the channel, you know, tips, like I've given stocks, so, which I've got more than a double from, you can go back, you can check the channel, etc, I'm not making it up, it's all documented, etc, so, anyway guys, that's just an update, because I don't know if the sound is any good on this, on the last video, the live one, I don't know what, 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 what went wrong, why it's, it's a problem or whatever but as i said like i'm not looking at this it's friday trading's coming to an end obviously then you're gonna have like aftermarket trading is gonna end coming up to a weekend um so guys like if you're long not financial advice but if you're long, you're long. If you're loading up, you're loading up. I don't know what you're going to be doing. So let me know. Let me know in the comments, guys. And if you watch the live, watch the live video and see if I said anything different. And if you can hear what I say. Because everything went wrong. I don't know what went wrong with that live. But um, as I say, guys, we just have to keep watching it. But you got to think long term when EO stock. I think you've got to think, definitely got to think long term because that is the kind of stock it's going to be.